Okay, YouTube, what is good? It's your girl, Dr. D, in the building today. So I'm here, guys, on my channel. I know you guys saw, you guys normally see me, basically, on my kids' channel. So I am starting my own channel, and there is going to be plenty time for me to explain that in story time. And a lot of people want to hear from me more, which they've commented on my page. So here I am. And my channel is going to be more about motivating, cultivating, educating, and inspiring you guys. So on my channel, I'll be doing a lot of things like not just cooking, a lot of on the go. Um, sometimes I'll be talking about my books. Sometimes I'll be reading things from my books. Um, sometimes I'll be just giving you guys life updates, advice quote inspirational things um just a lot of things that i feel like you guys have not known about my life a lot a lot a lot, a lot of story times is what i want to tell you that has been going on with my life here in california since i've been here things that have just been happening over the nine years that we've been here some ups and some downs um some losses that i have not shared a lot about on my platform that I just kind of just push under the rug but today let's just talk about where we are now so um what I'm gonna do today for you guys is I am actually cooking for my husband and my son I am actually vegan so you'll get to see a lot of vegan stuff I wish that I had started this like when I started vegan actually September 1st or the 2nd was like my four year anniversary, I think, since I went vegan. And I could be longer than that, guys. It really could be. I have to kind of think about that and let you guys know in a later vlog. But I um, did a lot of cooking since then. Like I got a lot of recipes and I have experienced so much, including a lot of places where I went to eat. And um, it's going to be some fun things that I'll kind of get in tune with you guys once I start getting familiar with my gang or my team or my squad because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm calling you guys. Are you going to be my Dr. D team, um, Dr. D squad, team Dr. D, DDHJ, gang, 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 um, depending on if I want to say Dr. Deanna Hancock Johnson gang. I don't know. You guys tell me what you're familiar with, what you like, what you don't like. Um, tell me what other topics you want to see on this channel. Just what you want. I mean, I'm not going to come dressed all the time. This is like my Saturday gear. I don't normally even have on too many clothes on a Saturday because I normally am up in between, up and down the steps with washing clothes. And some days, most of the time I'm cooking all day because I'll prep cook on Sundays um, for the entire week. And I see this fly is in here and he's driving me crazy. I'm trying to cook. And I need to kill him. Um, you know how you get that one fly in here and you trying to really kill him? And I think I got him, guys. I got him. Sorry, guys. But this is what this channel is about to be about. It's about to get real. It ain't going to be no fake stuff. I think I've been kind of giving you guys just some of me on my Instagram. I've been giving you the side of me that's just been the Dr. D, who is the psychologist, the professor, um, the author, the motivational speaker. But now I'm giving you some stuff that's like real life topics, things that I think you guys can relate more to. I think you guys are going to be more excited about seeing me on this side. There's some things that's going to be tearful on this channel. There's some things that's going to be exciting to share. Um, but I think you guys are going to appreciate what you're going to get on this side of uh, this side of the time, the side of the channel. Um, so. What I'm doing today is going to be a recipe because I love me some pinsters and I didn't bring like if you've been on Sienna's channel, you've seen us do a uh, mommy and me bacon um, segment we did with the banana pudding cake. And I usually bring the tripod where it's standing here, but I'm getting a little close and personal today. So I'm not bringing that down here. I was supposed to have on even my apron. So let me put that on. And also let me explain or apologize now in case you see me in this shirt a time or two or three or four. Cause I love this shirt. My in-laws gave it to me from my brother-in-law's gang years ago. And I think I'm the only one still wear the heck out of it. Um, it's one of my favorite quality shirts. I don't know where they got this from. But you know when you had somebody that played in a football game when they was younger. And you still wear the heck out of it. I think I wear the heck out of all my shirts. As a matter of fact to my Roper gang from junior high school. 
I still wear them shirts. They like 20 something years old. Barely can see, you can see everything through them. They almost see through. My husband clowns me all the time. But when I tell you they comfortable, they comfortable. All right, so I'm gonna put on my apron just because it might get a little messy. Uh-oh, I'm dropping stuff. You might hear the dogs barking. Uh-oh, see, I should have had this together. I got almost everything prepared for you guys before I even got on here. Okay. But, listen, I didn't get this prepared because I wasn't thinking I was going to need all this. But I think it's on the right that I introduce y'all right. Now, hopefully you can still hit my mic, so I'm going to do something like that. Okay. Probably should pause this to make sure my microphone is going. Because wouldn't it be bad if I'm talking all this and y'all can't even hear me? Ooh, wouldn't I be mad? You know, I'm getting used to this thing now. I'm doing pretty good with filming with Siona because we are on the roll on her channel. I need to get caught up in videos. And then you can also check CJ's channel out, you guys. My son, his channel is amazing. But he is just not into it anymore. So I'm hoping I can inspire him to get to it. I see everybody who got kids on YouTube, their mamas be starting the channel. I say, hey, why don't I do it too? Everybody love hearing from me. People like, hey, Dr. V, keep talking, keep, keep inspiring. Can you tell us more? Why not use this platform to talk about it more? Sian and I also have a podcast that we're starting soon. We have so many things to share with you guys. Wait till we drop the big news with you. Then y'all just going to. Y'all going to rock hard with us then. So I am making feta and spinach chicken patties. So what I was telling you guys is that I'm vegan and I'm hoping to, I've been trying some stuff with Sienna getting her vegan. I have tried vegan things with my husband and CJ, but they just not ready to turn the corner yet. Like they just not ready to go there. So I'm not going to push it. Not going to push it. Okay. It's their choice, but I love being vegan during COVID. I had some trying times. Because there were some things that I just, like, struggled with. But I got through it. And I'm good. Okay? I ain't meat or nothing like that. I ain't going back to meat. And I just love being vegan. But I did learn how to eat, like, vegan eggs and um, sunny side up egg. Like, I'm going to have some stuff for you guys. I'm going to show you stuff I discovered. And I used to go to a lot of restaurants before COVID and just try so many different food places. That's one thing I love about L.A. Like, Vegan food places are on almost every corner, guys, like a 7-Eleven. That's one thing I enjoy. Oh, my God, this is choking up. So, guys, I'm, I'm going to pause this for a second so I can make sure everything is recording, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, it seems like everything is working great. So, before anybody comes back down here bothering me, I was making me another cup of coffee. I'm, like, back to drinking coffee. I'm so addicted, guys. Like... If I don't tell you what my favorite flavor is right now, like I can't even go to a place these days. Maybe the cream brulee is coming back. I might like that, but something I discovered that I'm not really feeling the way this is looking, guys. Help me out. Help a girl out. Okay. All right. Am I looking chef enough? Chef D enough? I don't know. Whatever that means. I'm not feeling that, so I'm going to have to take that out of my backdrop if I'm going to be looking right here. Maybe I'll bring my trap out back down here. I don't know. So let's keep going. So basically, this recipe consists of, let me get back to my coffee in a minute. So I'll show y'all that. But I had to make me a cup because I feel like I'm, I don't know. A girl was in love with the wine, but I kind of gave it up for the coffee because I've just been grinding lately at night trying to prepare for this big announcement I'm getting ready to make with you guys. And, you know, starting my channel and just getting it in. So I'm like, I'm just going to chill on the wine right now and then just get to the coffee. And I've just been going ham on the coffee. But ground chicken. So I already cleaned my hands. I got all the rest, all the ingredients out already so that we can keep this moving. So you have your ground chicken, guys. So here it is. And it is thawed out already. And you have onions already in here really strong smell today so you got your onions and then you're supposed to have almond flour or um, breadcrumbs 
and i know i got some almond flour in my vegan cabinet but because it's me that i'm making this for i'm not gonna push the whole almond flour i really don't want to hear them complaining that's one thing i hate when i start cooking and i make them some and they don't like it which is very rare i don't really have them complaining but that one time i go out and make something that's just like new very want nah it's very rare that they don't like something but that time that they don't oh i be hot oh moms do you ever have that problem dads too when you just know you i'm gonna kill it tonight this is new mm. Mm. and you realize they don't like it mm -mm. uh-uh i go on strike guys i go on strike and i do not cook fry full a week and a half to two and said my feelings is not hurt anymore and it ain't nobody's fault but that's just how i be feeling i don't know maybe it's the canceling me but honey i ain't <laughs> i ain't with all that i just slave and you talking about you don't like it okay so i had to chop up spinach i had chopped spinach already frozen and then you put that also in here but how much do you put in here one cup of chopped spinach so i had i don't know, threw the container away but I probably can put all this in here, but I'll, uh, I'm not even going to act like I know all my sizes of stuff, which I probably do. But a girl is not going to pretend I'm that good. Even though I cook y'all all the time. Some of the cakes that I made, I recently made, oh my gosh, can I just share with y'all? Last week I made crispy cheddar chicken and oh man, I made a peach bunt cake. A Georgia peach bunt cake. I can I cook quite a bit. And I wish I'd have started a cooking vlog at least a long time ago. But I didn't. Cause we probably would have been way past that now. Honey, you wanna come say hello? Oh, you wanna try them out in their beds too? Wanna say hello? to my squad my gang my team we are just telling them i'm not sure what i'm gonna call it yet what are you making tonight i am making feta and spinach chicken patties okay. and i'm trying to figure out how much spinach i want to put in there Mom, can i just get the toy without fuming can you just not come in here and like ruin my vlog with all that right now I don't know you where's your socks i actually get socks on, put them on. no you Please. can't just come come do it all um, you can talk to me about your filming afterwards, though. Well, I'm just going to get the toy. No, you just don't, like, tell me what you about to do, though. <laughs> anyway, so this is going to be quick, baby. Once I finish um, mixing this, I just put it on the George Foreman. Because they say put it on the stove, but I'm going to do George Foreman because some people grilled it. But I think it's better to do this way. All right? So guys, this is what I'm gonna do. And I like to always add extra seasonings as well. So, as you can see, everybody's back down, except CJ. The dogs are being really good right now. They're quiet. So something starts to bother them. I'm gonna see if they fit their little beds. I love you. Love you too. Hi. Let's move this so you can see. Go to my channel, see I'm Johnson. Oh Lord Jesus. There's a plug. Just trying to plug her. Plug herself. I already told them about your channel. I have a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah. She cannot help herself without trying to. I know how to count to 100, guys. Okay, you want to say. <laughs> okay, I mean, listen. This is not about how Sienna can count to 100. You know how to count to 100, but then you start at 101. Yeah, Really, Siona? Really? <laughs> go over there and display your face. Hey. Go, 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 go. Okay, so then I'm going to do some salt. And we use... No. Mediterranean sea salt. Which, this one came from Ross, actually, guys. Y'all like to shop in Ross? I actually don't shop in Ross as much as I used to because I don't have the patience. My husband actually shopping in more than I do. Oh, I went in there recently to see if they had some more beds for the dogs because you can get, like, comfy beds for much cheaper than what um you can get off Amazon for that. That's what you can do. Yay! This calls for egg, too. I 
sure hope. Now, this is the first time I made something like this, guys. Pump of oil for the frying. So you have almond flour or breadcrumbs, garlic powder, feta cheese, one egg, salt, pepper. This wasn't the original recipe I found, but it won't print. Some For some reason, the regular recipe is not printing off of um, Pinterest today. So I found a different one. It kept freezing up. But this one was similar. I already had these. Um, these staple products. I kind of had to go and get something yesterday. Sandra, don't come with all that noise. You want to go clean your room? Yeah. Okay. Well, look like. Sure is, girl. My favorite time. Yep, guys, so on this channel, I'm just going to be doing some more stuff that I think I'm going to feel comfortable doing. And then most of it is going to be really talking and sharing with you guys a lot of updates that I didn't get to share on my platform, on my Instagram, that I think you guys are going to be wanting to see more of. Um, and just a lot of things, you know, when my dad passed, a lot of things I went through before I had Sienna, and a lot of things that's happened since I've had Sienna. Um Okay, can you just stay off and stop talking while I'm talking? Thank you. Um, see, Anna, please. We're going to have a problem. When I'm on my channel, you need to just leave me alone, girl. Um, so, you know, quite a bit of things that um, we need to share, you know. And sometimes my husband might join me on some of my vlogging, especially the on the go or like the weekends and stuff like that that we would have. But... It's going to be exciting to share some of the stuff that we have. I think there's quite a bit it's time to open up about, guys, um, that people can relate to. Then it's things people want to know about the journey that the kids have been on and how they got into acting and how that's been going and the ups and downs about that because everybody think it's glitz and glamour and, you know, they see them on Instagram and they see what they go and they think that, you know, Sienna's been working since she was nine months and people think, oh, by now she definitely... A millionaire and that's totally not the case oh my god I thought I killed this fly he is still moving Whew. I forgot that I had hit him got him now okay so I gotta get the garlic powder what Sienna Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Garlic powder is usually. But then I use minced garlic. So how do they want garlic powder and minced garlic? It's going to be garlicky for real. And they had a recipe on here for making the tzatziki sauce. But instead, I got this. Now, this I will be able to share and let them have. It's plant-based out of Target. But I know we've had this before when I made gyros. Year rolls or guy rolls? Which ones do you guys, which way do you guys usually say that? Like tomatoes, tomatoes. And while they're make, while they're eating this, I'm going to eat one of my vegan um, chicken patties. Which I can show y'all my brain that I like. So this one is not calling for oregano leaves. Hmm. My name is Sienna Johnson. I think you've already given me your name. Girl, get out of here. Okay, so now the breadcrumbs, and because I think I am a good cook, I just be doing my own thing, guys. I did not use measurement for that, but I promise y'all it's going to come out good. I promise. I promise. Oh, I use this almost for everything, guys, almost for every single thing. I don't care what I make. Well, when it comes to, like, burgers and stuff, or I can't think. Anything I make from scratch, I grab this. Oh, except my tofu that I make from scratch from eggs. I don't use it for that. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, the egg. And because I put two pounds of, let's sit in here. 
Oh, it says use two pounds and still one egg. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. I was about to use two eggs, but I'm just going to use one. Sienna, 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 Sienna. Headphones. No, I'm going to send you in the living room if I hear you making noise again. Because you're trying to make noise on purpose now. So Sienna just has this thing. She just wanted to be about her right now. She's so used to me filming her. She asks, mom and dads, I thought they weren't supposed to have YouTube. And she knows because she looks at a lot of kids with their moms and dads are on YouTube. So, all right, guys. So I'm going to stir all this up. And I'm going to actually get in here pretty good. Kind of want to get in here with my hands, but I'm looking for this too. Uh, I think I'm going to use my masher. I don't know. I like to get in here with my hands. I did just get my nails done, but I don't, when I cook, I don't care. Only thing I care about when I get my nails done, guys, is the dishes. So I end up using gloves. And moms, do y'all do the same thing? Gloves. That's the only thing. Then they last longer. I think I got everything I need in here. So I'm going with the masher eggs and stuff and then i'ma get in here with my hands because it says to make it into balls and then put it on the grill so didn't want to really make this a long vlog but you know it's my one of my first videos i don't know if it's gonna be the first because i might have another one that, like a welcome this is that break the ice video kind of like why I'm starting but I may have something else yeah see I'll make this one and that's the dog starting to play with their toys see they was quiet too they start getting loud house gets pretty loud with two dogs and two kids especially when CJ and Sienna start arguing that annoys me and I never thought, uh-uh, nope, 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 no, 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 no. Guys, I do not play with those dogs. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I get on them really hard. You mean like that, okay. Whatever. And guys, you can go follow my dogs too. They at Swaggy Poos on Instagram, S-W-A-G-G-Y-P-O-O-S. Probably update them more than I update my own page. No, I can't do no YouTube channel for them. What they gonna talk about? Cause then me and you gotta talk for them. Uh huh. We're gonna talk for them. No. Mm -mm. I'm the talker. I'm gonna talk for like. So they say you can take these and put it over um a bed of lettuce and some cherry tomatoes with some. Feta cheese over. Ooh, that looks so good, guys. Ooh, that's one thing I do miss as a vegan. Cheese, 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 cheese. I used to be vegetarian before this, and I would eat cheese, cheese, cheese. That and eggs was the hardest thing to give up. The first three weeks of being vegan, oh, y'all gonna have a story time on that. That was the hardest thing. I didn't know what to eat. And then when I made that tofu from scratch, like to make it like egg scramble or something, so thankful. I was like, Lord, please let it be good. Please let it be good. Please let it be good. I had scrambled it up the best way I could. I had watched one video and it had all this great stuff on how to make it with like, um, let me see, what is this in my cabinet? Make it with nutritional yeast, turmeric, garlic powder. And I think at the time that's all I was making it with. Now they got like the tofu scramble. They have the egg salt. I probably should do a video like that, guys, making this, because I done got real good at making my tofu scramble. Now, I can't go without it. Egg salt. This is really good for when you making that um sunny side up egg. Like, I can't even, I can't even wait to show y'all these things, but like the vegan sunny side up egg. Ooh, Lord Jesus. I'm so thankful for being a vegan because nowadays, ah. Uh, there are so many things, guys. So many options. Okay, now the refrigerator want to make noise. Make noise. I don't know how we gonna get through this, guys. This is gonna be a lot of days with noise. Okay, a lot of days. All right. So, I am going to 
make these into balls and then get them on to the George Foreman and I'll be back. Peace. Mm -hmm.